This is my trip to the temples of Cambodia on the 29th of June 2011. I took a bike ride, a mountain bike ride through the jungles of uh, Siem Reap, the temple area. It's totally awesome. Here's the prop plane that take me, takes me to Siem Reap and then I'm riding on a bike in my tour. Here's the main moat for Angkor Wat. Another shot of that. This is the approach to Angkor Wat and the uh, stone bridge going across into the west entrance. Angkor Wat is a Hindu temple originally and these Nagas are all over the place. They represent the myth between the gods and the demon giants when they were uh, they were both pulling on a and stretching a, a Naga and churning the sea of milk. Uh, so you'll see these all over the place throughout the temple structure. Here's the approach going towards the main temple. It's bigger on the inside. Wow. Here's the main temple complex, obviously with reflection from the pool. And this is looking back uh, west towards the main entrance. These next few shots are the Mahabharata, the Hindu uh, Hindu story about Krishna, uh, and some interior shots with the columns as well. You can see after a thousand years, there's still quite a bit of detail on these shots. Um, this is right in the middle of the battle. Here's the soldiers approaching the battle. And here's some really intricate carving on the sandstone blocks that survived. The next few shots are the Ramayana, which is a much earlier story in the Hindu mythology. Here's the picture of the Naga with the, the giant demons pulling on one side. That's one of the chief giant demons. You see he's got seven heads and eight hands. There's Vishnu who's judging the fight and he's standing on top of a turtle which uh, replaced the mountain that crumbled from the snake just returning the sea of milk. This is the last uh, tower in Ang Angkor Wat before approaching Angkor Thom. Here's the approach to Angkor Thom. You can see on the left and right are those same Ramayana statues and giants. Uh, they're, they're all pulling on the same Naga, the snake. I'm riding on top of the wall for Angkor Thom. You can see it's a pretty old wall. <laughs> There's the moat. It's amazing, it's like, couldn't even tell you're on top of a man-made structure here. This is the southeast corner uh, tower on top of that wall I was riding on. Here's a gate on the, on the south side. Hello! The main temple for Angkor Thom is the central Bayan. It's by far the best preserved of all of them. Kiss the Buddha. Here's three Buddha heads in a row on top of the Bayan and Angkor Thom. Another cool shot at Angkor Thom. I left the Angkor Thom area and went towards the backwoods to explore some less discovered temples. Just like in the backwoods of the Angkor Thom area. The light rain, no one around. We're headed towards a more remote temple. Awesome. Too busy uh, fooling with my camera. I almost fell over. This is the gate uh, for Ta Prom, uh, and also some internal pictures for Ta Prom, also known as the Tomb Raider Temple. You can see, obviously, some similarities in here. These trees just totally destroy the temple walls. Uh, there's a big restoration effort going on, but um, it just looks like there's just no chance. There's so much just destroyed, but it looks so cool. It's like time forgot. 